Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. I am filming inside my restroom today because I am going to show you guys a really inexpensive way to treat your nose pores, which is blackheads and whiteheads. I know nose pore strips can be very expensive and you can't buy them all the time. Like I know definitely I can't buy them all the time. I just, I'm, I'm a girl on a budget. So I love to Pinterest many ways to do facial treatments. I'm actually on a very good skincare routine right now that I have and it's a new product that I'm testing out and stuff and my face has been super clean. All my exfoliating and all that is working and my face feels really good. So I really hope that I can give you guys some blackhead views on my nose pore strip. Um, but all you're going to need today is Elmer's glue. It has to be Elmer's glue. I've tried other types of glues. I tried to go to Dollar Tree and just get a glue stick and it just didn't work. It didn't work for me. It didn't peel it off. Like it just didn't work. So I looked on Pinterest and majority of everyone that has tried this said it has to be Elmer's glue. So Dollar Tree does have Elmer's glue and I went ahead and bought one. So it only was a dollar. So that's all you're going to need. And if you want like a paintbrush, you can get a paintbrush. I'm just going to use my fingers because I'm just going to show you the way majority of people would do it. I don't know. Maybe everyone is... <laughs> not like me and they'll use a paintbrush and stuff, but I use my fingers, it works perfectly fine. It does exactly the same thing as a paintbrush would do. I'm gonna go ahead and dive right into the video so I can show you guys and hopefully it works for you guys because I know it works for me. I did it once and it works really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do this. So like I said, all you're going to need is one bottle of Elmer's glue. So the first step would be to have a clean face or basically a clean nose area. So if I'm comfortable with not having to have my full face good up, I'm just going to go ahead and wash my face since it is already towards the night time. That's why I have my water running. You want to make sure it's very warm water so that way you can open up your pores. So go right in. So I've experienced for better results to get a warm cloth and put it on your nose for a couple of minutes. All right, and then make sure it's fully dried. All right, so once your nose is fully dried, you can go ahead and get your glue and you wanna make sure you have a pretty good full thick layer over your nose and like around it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. thick layer of glue all around you're gonna let it dry completely it is going to take a while so go ahead and go wash the dishes clean the living room vacuum do whatever you need to do and wait for it to dry and I'll come back and show you guys how it will look when it's dried so I start it I put the mask on I finished at 420 and it is 433 and it is now ready to peel off so it took about 12 minutes a good 12 13 minutes for the entire um, glue to dry. So it's gonna look like this when it's ready to be peeled. So you gotta make sure it looks completely see-through. And then you start from the bottom and start peeling. So I'm gonna set you guys down. And so you're gonna start from the bottom right here. Basically, you're gonna just find the areas where you can peel it off from. And it is gonna hurt a little bit. It's a nose strip. <laughs> blackheads but I do see a lot of whiteheads I don't know if you guys can tell right here in this area but there's a lot of whiteheads um, the first time I did the strip there was a lot of blackheads my my nose hasn't been clean hadn't been clean when I did the strip but 
Yeah, as you guys can tell, there are some white heads in there. That's actually a lot. But yeah, that's how it looks afterwards. I'm actually glad you guys got to see a couple of white heads in there. I'm sad there was no black heads though. Now that you are done, you can go ahead and just like rinse off all the excess and stuff that was left over. This an A++. It leaves your nose feeling so soft. And I did it two weeks ago, so it was still soft when I put it on. I don't know if it's from all the exfoliating and all that, but it, it left it soft for a while. Like I was impressed. So my nose feels super soft right now after the finishing touch of it. Oh, look at There's a black head right there. So it's taking them all out. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna rinse that out again. So yeah, Elmer's glue really works as a nose pore strip. It works so good on my nose. There was no blackheads. It was a lot of whiteheads though. But the first time there was a lot of blackheads. So I think I stripped all those out. And plus I've been exfoliating. Like I said, I have a new product that I'm using on my face and I feel like it's working so good. And I just love the exfoliation of it. I'll share that with you guys in like a skincare routine once I'm done. But for this video, I 100% approve it works good give it a big double thumbs up and i recommend it for you guys to try if you guys are nose pore strip fans this it doesn't oh and another plus it doesn't hurt nearly as bad as an actual pore strip so that's what i like about it and it gets the job done it makes your nose feel super soft takes out all those whiteheads blackheads everything you name it and leaves your nose feeling super soft and it doesn't have like that tingling you know when you take a nose pore strip off it leaves your nose like tingling kind of feels like it's throbbing it doesn't do that so I I like the Elmer's glue as a nose pore strip I highly recommend it I highly recommend you guys try it so anyways if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you guys learned something new give it a thumbs up also comment down below like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys